Okay, today we're going to be looking at the art of Vincent van Gogh. We're going to be looking specifically at the sunflowers that he created. Vincent van Gogh was born on, in my opinion, the greatest day ever, March 30th, back in 1853, and he sadly died at the age of 37 on July 29th, 1890. Uh, van Gogh has made many amazing artworks. You guys have probably seen stuff like Starry Night, which has even made it into movies like Home or uh, in SpongeBob, but we're gonna be mostly looking at sunflowers that he made. The, these sunflowers were made at a time when he was in Paris because he made two different sets of sunflowers. Um, there were the sunflowers in Paris, which were not in a vase, um, and that was were made in about 1887. And the other ones that he made was when he was living in Arles, which is a place also in France. Um, and that's a pl time where he made lots of really awesome artwork, uh, kind of like the bedroom at Arles or the night scene. Um, and what we're looking at are more of his sunflowers. I believe there are 12 different sets of sunflowers that he made. Uh, I know there were five of them in Paris. Um, and these are some of the other ones that he made in Arles. One of the big differences are these ones were painted in vases instead of just laying on the table. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating our own version of his sunflowers. Um, and we're going to start by making a vase, making the flowers, making the stems, doing the details, and adding things like a, a line for where the table and wall would be separated. Uh, you can either do this assignment by choosing your own uh, way of making the vase and different flowers, or you can do the roll of Van Gogh that I've included, where you can roll a die, and in your first roll, you can pick out which vase to use uh, based on your number that you roll, and then continuing with your second roll to, as to what type of flower to make. If you'd instead like to make your own flowers and your own vase on your own, that is absolutely fine. Um, I recommend making more than the four flowers that I have on the paper. Um, fill it up, just like some of the pictures that we looked at, where there's, you know, ten different flowers coming out of one vase. Looks much nicer, takes up a lot more of the space. Um, remember, for today, our paper is going to be going um, portrait. That way we can make a nice vase and very tall flowers that come out of it instead of doing landscape where we'd be having to squish everything down. Okay, so today we're gonna be making our own Van Gogh style sunflowers. Um, to do that, you can either choose and create your own, or we do have the different roll of Van Gogh sunflowers that uh, I also provided. So if you have this, you can either just pick them out, or you can actually roll a die, which is what I'll do here. So for the first one, we'll just kind of take it. Our first roll is going to be what vase we make. So I got the number five. So I'm going to start by drawing that type of vase. So for number five, I'm going to start with a vase. And remember, try to draw lightly. That way, if we make mistakes, we can always go and fix them much easier than if we don't. Now, because we're doing this stuff at home, try to use whatever materials you have. If you have nice drawing paper, go for it. If you don't have nice drawing paper, don't worry about it. And remember, if you want to add things to this, do your details. We like to add lots of details. So it doesn't have to be the exact same. So maybe I want to add stuff inside. Maybe I want to put some zigzags inside my vase. Up to you. We'll move over to the next one. We're going to be picking out our first flower. So I roll. I got a number four. Four looks kind of like this. Make your flowers nice and big, especially so we can add some color into them. So, and again, try your best. They don't need to turn out the exact same as we have over here. I'm going to be putting eight petals, so I'm going to be doing each one of the diagonals and 
vertical and horizontal for my petals. And my petals all turn out a little bit differently. And I'm going to do my dots that kind of go around one dot that was in the center. Kind of like that. Second flower, I've got number one. So for this one, I'm going to go much smaller with the middle and I'm going to make some bigger petals. And you can move your flowers around wherever you want. I did say that you should have at least three flowers. You can def or sorry, four flowers, but you can always do more. Got number six, so I get to do that one, which I actually like a lot. Start with a big uh, circle, and this time I'm going to do smaller petals all the way around. For doing most of these petals, it's basically just upside down V's or V's that are kind of going around in a circle. You can make your lines curve before you come back. And if you make them kind of like a curve and stop, pick up your pencil and put it back down, you kind of get that little sharper at the edge than if you just kind of go back and forth unless you practice beforehand. And I really like this one. So to do my lines, I'm just going to start with a line that kind of comes across. Any of them that are above that are curving away from the middle. And then on the bottom are also curving away from the middle. This just kind of makes it look like it's popping out. Do something similar here. Curving away from the middle on that side. Curving away from the middle on this side. It's my third one. Fourth one. Number two. This is kind of more like a flower from the side. Put some little zigzags. And then I'm going to just make the actual flower petals that are kind of coming out. Now granted, on this it is pointing that way. I kind of had more room over here, so I'm just going to make the same type with all the extra petals in the background. Back here. So, we do need to add details. Remember, when you do things like add your stems, make sure you bring your stems all the way down and inside of the oval. You don't want to just stop at the oval because we want these to be inside the vase. Now, when we do that, we also need to erase any of the back part of the oval that ends up inside of our stem. Also, add things like you can add different types of leaves kind of coming off of our flower or off of our stems make your stems kind of go different ways try to follow one side about the same distance away the whole time as the other one if I make one side like this and I make the other side like this it makes for a funky looking stem so to avoid doing that try to just follow what you did with the first one staying the same distance away the whole time and then remember go back and get inside of your stems um, you can also add other things other than just the stems because hopefully we're doing more than just stems on this So think about other things that you might want to see Inside or sorry in your artwork like if these are maybe sitting on a table We can put a line now. This could be a table could be sitting on the floor We could decorate the wall in the background. It's really up to you Try to get creative with it add some different kind of details um, and add some color. If you get done, I'd love to see what you guys actually make. Good luck and go have fun.